So every Mercury retrograde has a shadow period, the retrograde, and a wake. So the shadow period is about two to three weeks before the Mercury retrograde starts, and that is starting on the 18th of this month. And then Mercury is going to be retrograde from April 1st to April 25th. And then there's a two to three week period on the back end of that, um, which sort of ties it all together. Um, and that is going to be somewhere between the 13th and the 15th of May. The three that are fully this year, um, we've got April 1st to April 24th, which is in Aries, um, which is a fire sign. <clears throat> um, we've got August 4th to the 27th, which will start in Virgo, but really it's mostly in Leo, which is a fire sign. <laughs> And then November 25th to December 15th, it's not going to go over Christmas for once. It's very exciting. Um, it's going to be in Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the idea as a whole of what's going to go, what, what we're being offered with Mercury retrograde uh, mm -hmm. this cycle is that we get to rewire existing communication and thinking habits. We get to deepen our trust in our instincts. And we get to practice asserting ourselves in more refined and graceful ways. <laughs> so if you have a sun, a moon, or a rising sign in a fire sign, you will be even more strongly affected by Mercury retrogrades this year. We have this tendency to kind of go, oh, I wish the universe would just give me a break. I would just like a little bit of vac vacation. I would like things to just stop for a moment. This is your vacation. Mercury retrograde is your vacation. It's just we get frustrated with it because it happens not on our schedule. And we have expectations about what should work and what shouldn't work. But if we know that they're coming and we know how to approach them, there's no reason to get thrown quite as off track as a lot of people get thrown. So this is your vacation. Everything slows down. So Mercury retrograde basically is like what it asks us to do is again, stop, pause, breathe, feel your feet. How did I get to where I am? Is there anything that needs tying up before I move forward? And tie up those loose ends before you start thinking about moving forward. It's an excellent opportunity to reevaluate your thoughts, your habits, your patterns. What works? What doesn't work? What can you toss? What can you tweak? Um, and because the energy slows down so much, it's a great time for manifesting. <laughs>